All right, let's move on. I have some books to share with you guys today. I found some really interesting things and I'm very excited about them. I found this, what looks to be a comic book. Look at that, look at those pictures. Amazing. Avengers, that whole thing, that movie, that three hour movie is out. I'm not really into that overly much, but if you are, they have tote bags with Avengers and superheroes. It would be really cute if y'all wanted to make like a family movie or you wanted to give a gift to your son or to whoever loves it. And then y'all go to the movie theater together as a family thing. You could just, man, you go to Dollar Tree and they have Avengers stuff for you, which is amazing. I love that the things at Dollar Tree are really current to what we're doing today. So it's not like we're getting back end things from something that was popular three years ago. So I love that. This book, however, it, I don't really know who these superheroes are. And it says irredeemable and it doesn't say really much of anything else. I don't know if these are known superheroes. It doesn't look like it. Maybe it's someone else's version, but it's really interesting. And for a dollar and the quality of these pages, it's really, really amazing. And then I picked up this book, it says Gilded Cage. I just read a little bit of off the back and I'm actually going to read this one. When I usually haul books from Dollar Trees for DIY purposes or for gift giving, not necessarily for me to read. Who remembers the pumpkin patch murder mystery one that I hauled a couple years ago? I started reading that and I just, I wanted to tear my eyes out. Um, so, this one seems really interesting. It says, Gilded Cage is a heart-pounding combination of dark magic, political revolution, and forbidden romance that had me addicted from the first page. And this was said by someone at USA Today. So that's a New York Times best-selling author of the Summoner Trilogy. So the New York best, New York Times said, devious and deliciously dark with lash, lashings of magic, mystery, and mayhem, this juggernaut of a book will keep you hanging on by your fingernails until the very last page. I mean, that's like the New York Times here. Um, yeah, so a lot of great reviews on the back and for a dollar I was like, all right then. So I'm definitely gonna give this a read and I'm gonna start on this thumbs up if you want me to do a book review. I used to do book review Fridays and yeah, so I kind of stopped those just because I got really, really busy. But if you want a book review Friday on this, let me know. It'll take me a day to read this. Um, all right, so then I found the appetizer book. I had hauled a couple of the other ones. Um, a smoothie one, a burger one, a salad one, and I found the appetizers. So look at that. Really great little book for a dollar. There you have it. If you're wondering why I keep buying recipe books, it's because I know when my daughter goes off to college, I'm gonna need something to get a, get in, to distract me from empty nest. So my, my plan is to start cooking and trying new recipes, FYI. All right, then I found this little gem, which is the uh, Bible promise book for tough times. And when I ran an, in, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Inside this book, you'll find hundreds of Bible promises that will help you live victoriously despite life's hurdles. The Bible provides guidance, hope, and encouragement, whether you're dealing with issues related to money, health, relationships, or feelings of insecurity about the future. You can take comfort in knowing that you can count on God in any situation. And it's just this little book. And it just... So for example, this one is titled Pain. And then it says, when you wonder if the pain will ever go away, dot, 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 and then it gives you Bible verses. So really interesting. It's a little book too. You can just throw this in your purse and that's what I'm going to do with mine. All right, next up, look what I found. Buckle up ladies, because these are the cutest kitchen towels yet. So here is a lemon one, finally. Finally, I got something with lemons on it. So still better about the plates. Eventually, I'll probably need therapy for it. A half cup of water, juice, if two lemons, two tablespoons of sugar, five cubes. I don't know, it's just a recipe on this little thing. Love that. Born to stand out. 
told you, this, this flamingo is like, the, it's replacing the unicorns at Dollar Tree. I love the little details there. This one's really cute, pina colada. It gives you a little recipe here. Adorable. And then little, are those pineapples? Yeah, pineapple. And I really love that they have the green. I think that's just beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Here's a strawberry daiquiri. Isn't this adorable? What? Little strawberries on the back. You get your little recipes here. Um, yeah, looks like a real, real life recipe that you could actually follow. Look at the watermelons. Love. Thanks, a melon O. Oh. Look at that. Love. And then the last one is stand tall and stand out. Pineapple. Love the colors. Cute, soft little polka dots. I was shook when I saw these. And we're getting into some of the last little things. Ooh, what do I show you first? Okay, I found some new washi and it's adorable. So I bought doubles of it because I really like thin washi. I don't own very much thin washi and thin is better for smaller planners like an A5 or even just a little mini one to throw in your purse. So thin is really great because it doesn't take up that much space and you need more space to write in. And this one just says girl boss and then it has black and white stripes some gold in here pink black some glitter love and then they did this which just brought me back to my childhood who remembers collecting erasers little fun shaped erasers oh i died over it i had a whole um what do you call it i had a whole lunchbox with which i think was new kids on the block and i had tons and tons of erasers and look dollar tree just took me right back to the 80s i just mentioned how i wanted to take a time machine back to the 80s dollar tree just get, gives me that mental time machine here i am so look at this one really cute for girls and you get four in here so and they're on pencils obviously how cute and then here are the other two erasers and then here is a boy version, which is really fun. The little motorcycle and the football, and then a guitar and a shark. So, good job, Dollar Tree. I love that. Then I found a new adult coloring book. This one says The Great Outdoors. I knew it was new because I'd never seen this style before. And it reminds me of The Great Outdoors movie with um, John Candy. I love that movie. I play it over and over and over. And the images seem to be really amazing. I cannot wait to color in here. Look at this one. Yeah, so if you like adult coloring books, I think this one's gonna be a great one. All right, then I found some sticker books. I haven't purchased these in a while just because the ones Dollar Tree's been putting out, I just haven't been interested. But they have Fancy Nancy. And this is my favorite book to read to my niece. She has a Fancy Nancy book, and I always read it with a French accent to her, and I just, I love it. I don't know why I love it so much. So I'm gonna bring her these little stickers. I thought I would show her how to peel stickers and put them on like a piece of paper or something and see if she's going to love that or not. The first sheet has bubble, fluffy bubble-like stickers. And then, yeah. look at these. Fancy Nancy is fancy. And then here's another one. Look how cute. Is it focusing? This camera never wants to focus. Love this. Love Fancy Nancy. Okay. Anyway, so I got those for her. I found some new darling little notebooks, and these seem to be amazing quality with the Jot label. Ta-da! These are gonna be great too for a Mother's Day gift basket. I would love to get stuff like this. Love begins with you. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot of gold foil going on. It's a little flip up notebook. The cover is thick. It is amazing quality. So is the back. It is not flimsy at all amazing quality live your dream i love this one i love the pretty floral print 
I mean, you guys, this is a dollar. That just blows my mind. Um, you are the best. I feel like if we went to Michael's, this we all know this would be like three to five bucks at Michael's. So that's why I'm always excited because it's at the end of the day, it's a dollar. So anyways, those are the three patterns that I found for this style. And the very last thing, I'm the cutest, the cutest notebook journals I've ever seen. Love. I'm, I die. So here is this one. And we've seen this pattern before. So it's really interesting that they're bringing it back in another format. Life is better with sprinkles. And there is glitter detail to it. And the inside is really interesting. There are some brown pages. There's some white pages. The brown pages are really interesting. The white pages are blank, like a true piece of paper. The brown pages have little sayings, doodle it. It's almost like a wreck it journal kind of. Have you ever watched wreck, wreck my journal or something on YouTube? That's interesting. Um, like look at this. Wow, love. I've never, I've never seen Dollar Tree do anything on this level before with a little journal. So love that. Here is a pineapple version, Life is Sweet. The cover is beautiful and the same concept. White is blank and then the brown journals in the pineapples are very different. They're just pineapple-y and fits the theme. Look, this has a little, oh my gosh, this is by far how many of you comment down below and how many of you need to have this in your life. Look at this. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Wow. And then I got doubles of my favorite. They made this print in those binders that I hauled. If you remember that haul, I'll link it down below for you guys so that you can see the matching binders to all of this. And this is my favorite print. The neon beautiful print of these ice cream cones and it says chill out, which is hilarious. Again, with the same concept, brown and white. And then, oh, this one's kind of messed up a little bit in the corner. Oh, look. Oh, this one is messed up. So make sure you're looking at it, but let's go ahead and pass this little, wow. Wow, that is just... I, I'm clearly, I'm speechless. Like, very clearly. Love, love this. So, alright guys, that's it for today's video. I feel like this is going to be a 20-something minute video, but I hope that you enjoyed spending this time with me as I show you all the things that I love from Dollar Tree and... Holy crap, this was a good haul. Like this was a jackpot haul for sure. So thumbs up if you liked this video and I will see you on